Hello everybody and welcome to my Excel spreadsheet tutorial and for my first episode I'm going to show you and explain why Excel is such a great skill and such a time-saving uh, thing to know. So to begin I'm going to do a little experiment about rolling two dice and finding the totals of them. And I'm going to do this first through a non-spreadsheet program so let's just say by paper or through Word right now and then I'll show you it on Excel and how they both differ and why Excel is better to do it on. And so let's begin. So I'm just going to roll some dice in my head. So I'll roll 4 and a 3, a 2 and a 1, a 1 and a 1, a 6 and a 2, and a 4 and a 5. And to get, uh, find the totals, I just add them in my head. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 4 plus 5 is 9. And even though it was very simple to do on a non-spreadsheet program like Word, uh, if we translate this back over to a spreadsheet, such as Excel, we will see that it will be a lot more functional, time-saving, and just easier time to do it. So I'm going to do the same thing on Excel. I'm going to roll some dice in my head. I'm going to roll a 3 and 5, 1 and a 6, 1 and a 1. 4 and a 3, and 5 and a 5. Okay? And so, really, from Excel that we see right here to Word, it's really the same thing. However, Excel has a functionality that Word cannot replicate. I'm going to do this by unhiding some columns I already made. You can see that Excel provides a method of showing more than just the totals. I am able to also show some special notes about the special roles and more than that as we go on. So Excel already calculated all the totals for me, didn't have to do it in my head, and also found some conditions which I didn't have to always think about. Another huge benefit of Excel is that it's always a live updating program for all of its cells. And to really show you this, um, keep a look at this total. That's 8 right now. If I change one of these cells, either the 3 or the 5, this 8 will, the total will automatically update of the two numbers. So for instance, I change this to a 6. Press enter, and there it is. I have an updated total, and it's also highlighted green. And it's only highlighted green because I did uh, a function which highlights something if it's over 11 or 12. If, it, if I rolled 11 or 12, basically. And if we can translate this back to Word, if I, let's say, change my dice 1 to 5, this total doesn't change. It's still 7, however, it's supposed to be 8, which I have to manually change. And that's what Excel is so great about. Even though these are such small sample sizes, uh, Excel it gives you a really, really greater means of analyzing the data and making your life more simpler. However, the decision really changes when we have lots and lots of data. For instance, let's let's just say I op I'm opening a file with about 147, I think. Oh no, 179 uh, rows of data. So how do we? And if we had this on Word, how would we do anything with it? So in the future, all my tutorials would be based on how to really use use Excel, how to use it with large amounts of data, and just some really integral skills that. Uh, all Excel users need to know, and maybe some advanced. So, I urge all of you to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.